posted on the video and you're already on the tripod so I just thought I would talk to you. I'm hungry. I'm not so hungry right now. I'm really I'm I'm not like starving. I've um I've had two products today already. I had one really late because I went out last night and I didn't go to bed till about half three and I didn't get up till about 11. So I had my shake at like 12 and then I had a bar because I went to my mum's today to see my new kitten. And my mum, my dad and Emmy were all sat there with bloody bags of crisps and I'm like, really? And my mum's like, do you want any? So, I didn't actually tell her to fuck off, I don't tell my mum to fuck off, I'm not that silly. Um, so I had my lemon bar, and then at about quarter past six I had a bit of chicken. So, today is like my last day of Soul Source Plus. So I had a bit of chicken, and I've got one more product left, which I'm going to try and have at like nine-ish. I'm going to have either a muffin or a hot drink, I haven't decided. Um... But I'm just craving so bad. So bad. Because Saturdays and Sundays, well, any day really, because I was a fat bitch, I, I'd have takeaway. Like right now, this time two weeks ago, I'd probably put Emmy to bed and then think, oh, I'm going to have takeaway. So I'd go on Just Eat and order 13 quids worth of food because you had to spend 12 to get it delivered. And I'd just sit and gorge, and I'm going to be really honest here, I'm I'm disgusted with myself. I would have a large cheesy chips, I would have, what's an average meal? Large cheesy chips, 5 inch, no, 6 inch margarita pizza, thin crust, um, a chicken wrap, and chicken nuggets. Or I would get rid of the pizza and have garlic bread with cheese and pepperoni on it and I would eat all of that and feel very very full afterwards like ill full and then about three days later I'd do the same thing this is why I put so much weight on this is why I put a stone on so it was costing me a lot of money and it was costing me my health so I needed to stop and I know it's wrong that's why I've had some chicken today to kind of curb my hunger but I'm still standing here right now thinking I used to be such a pig and I used to spend all that money on food but I could still quite easily just go into the living room right now and order that food and eat it tonight but I'm not going to because I know how guilty I'm going to feel afterwards and I know how hard I worked last week and the fact that I've lost £12 do I really want to put half of that back on just for like 20 minutes of pleasure so hello you alright yes babe do you want to shut the curtains then? Yeah. Go on then. I'm so get in my eyes. Bless her. So yeah, I could quite easily go and order a takeaway right now. And eat half of it today and half of it tomorrow because it will be too much for me to eat. But why do I want to? Why do I want to knock myself out of ketosis? Why do I want to put all that weight back on that I've just lost? I'm going to see my nan and my great aunt next Sunday, like a week today. And I want to go and see them. I've got my way in before I go. And I'm hoping that if I can have another good loss like this week. If I can lose say 12, 14 pound next week. Then I can go to them and say I'm two stone lighter. And that would be awesome. That's what I really want to do. So I'm resisting the urge as much as I can to eat. But it's hard. Hi. Um, I have nothing on my face today. Because... It's that holiday Monday and I was supposed to be, um, I had plans tonight which have now been cancelled so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to have a makeup free day. So I'm not feeling too cracking today um, and I don't know why, it's for one of four reasons, I don't actually know which one it is which is quite annoying because I don't know how to remedy it. So I've got quite a bad head today and I feel a bit, mm, like a bit sick and I, I don't know. So it could be because I didn't get much sleep last night and 
I'm tired. So I am quite tired today, but I've only had one product so far, and it's like, I think it's about 20 past 1, I don't know. I've only had one product, and that was at around quarter to 10 this morning, because I'm trying to soul source this week. So because I'm soul sourcing, I'm trying to spread them out through the day. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't go to bed till like, I think I fell asleep about 2, and then I woke up at half 6. Managed to get back to sleep at about half seven, but then only slept till half eight. So I only had about five hours sleep, which is enough for some people, but for me, I'm one of these people that needs like eight hours a night. Reason two is because I've, I didn't know, now judge me if you want, I don't care, but some of you older viewers will know, not old as in age, but have been with me for a while, that I love Geordie Shaw. I'm, I'm happy to admit it, I don't do Essex, I don't do uh, da, 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 Chelsea, I hate those two, they piss me off, but I love Jersey Shore, or loved, because it's now, it's gone, I loved Jersey Shore, I loved Geordie Shore, and I loved the Valleys, and then there was another one that I can't remember what it was called, but it was to do with hair and beauty and that sort of thing, but there's only one series of that. Geordie Shore's now on its 10th series, I didn't know that it had restarted, I saw an advert for it, on Saturday night, and I was like, what? And I looked through, and I found there was an episode on last night. Episode four! I was like, what? So, I've just sat and watched three episodes on the trot of the new Geordie Shore, because I've got Sky Go. So I could have a headache because of that. Third reason is because I'm hungry. I could be, I could have a headache because I'm hungry, but that might not be it. So I could quite easily make myself something to eat now to make me feel better and this is what I've said from the start if I don't feel well I'm going to eat something if I feel really weak or whatever I'm going to make something and not feel guilty about it so if I feel hungry I'll perhaps make egg on toast and I can, obviously at the moment I'm not supposed to have anything but if I do happen to have a plus meal I can have two eggs but I'm not allowed toast, but I want the toast to fill me up a bit and it makes me feel better. So if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. I'm not going to starve myself to be thin. That's ridiculous. Um, so I, I could be hungry, but I don't want to go and make something to eat and then my headache's still there. I don't, don't think it's to do with hunger because I'm on day eight now. So I'm kind of, the hunger is getting easier. It's, I think it's, more the first two. What was the fourth reason? There was four reasons, and now I can only think of three. Fuck. Not much sleep. Geordie Shaw. Hungry. Ugh. There was a fourth reason, and it's completely gone from my brain. The weather's not great either. It's kind of one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's trying to rain it's quite heavy and heavy weather affects me for some reason I don't know why you know when you've got a storm brewing but it doesn't come and it, it just it makes the air really heavy that gives me a headache and it could be that so I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know whether to go and have something to eat because it'll make me feel better stomach wise but it's not I don't think it's going to help this I could be dehydrated that's the other one I could be a bit dehydrated because I'm really struggling with the water at the moment I'm having to kind of choke it down. I hate water so much, and I don't know why, because there's nothing to it, there's no flavour to it, but I'm really struggling with the water, and if I chug it, I'm fine, but I don't want to keep chugging it, because then it makes me feel crap as well, but I can't sit and sip it, because I'm just, it's starting to make me gag a little bit, and I don't, ugh. so it could be that, I don't know. I think I'm going to try and have a product, I might have a bar, because the bars are a bit um, more substantial, so I think I'm going to try and have a bar, and that might make me feel better, I don't know. What up? I'm just putting you in my cupboard, because I can't be bothered to get on my tripod out, because I'm such a bad YouTuber. Um, so it's Tuesday, no, that's better, that's better, uh, yeah, it's Tuesday, and it's day nine on plan. And I don't know why, but I just feel really... <gasps> it's 
today. I feel like I've got loads of energy and I feel happy and I'm just like, what the f has this given me like a, a personality transplant or something? I don't get it, but I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, I feel good. I've had two of my three products today already, which sucks because I'm not going to have my evening product until probably six and then that'll have to last me for the rest of the day so I better drink lots more water that's my thing I've not been drinking enough water and I know I haven't but I'm really struggling with the water situation I hate it I really hate it and I am trying but it's hard um but yeah I'm uh, I feel generally good um I do have a bit of an issue though I've got an obsession with weighing myself. I'm weighing myself every day and I shouldn't because my scales are shit and my scales weigh me heavier than what my Cambridge plan ladies do and hers are like proper industrial scales and mine are just crappy ones from Argos, you know, but I'm just, I'm obsessed. I keep weighing myself and I shouldn't, like I've just weighed myself now and I've lost three pound since Sunday which is good, but I'm pissed off that I've only lost £3 in two days. Because last week I was averaging £2 a day. Today, it's only £3. Whereas technically it should be 4 So I'm like... <sighs> but, well actually technically it should be 6 But, it's the middle of the day and I've eaten two products. And I'm wearing my jeans. So, I think... It sounds really mental, but when you weigh, when I weigh with my jeans on, I weigh two pound heavier. It's mental. So I think if I weigh in the morning, when you're supposed to weigh yourself, I would weigh less. It's because I've had two products, so I'm bulked out a little bit. But plus, I'm still time of the month, so I'm hoping I'm not going to weigh myself anymore. I'm going to be good. I'm actually going to put my scales somewhere that's really awkward to get, or I might. I should be seeing my mum tomorrow. I might get my mum to hide them in my house somewhere, and then I won't be able to weigh myself which would be better, but um, yeah, I'm not going to weigh myself anymore, because I want it to be a surprise on Sunday morning, and I'm sorry, I can't leave my hair alone because it needs washing and it's pissing me off, um, yes, I need to focus more, I just, I'm hoping that I, I want another big loss, because this is my first week on Soul Source only, like not soul sauce plus with the food it's just soul sauce so I'm hoping that I'm going to have a good loss I'm one of these people like some of the ladies that I follow on Instagram they're like oh my god I lost three pounds this week I'm so happy and I'm really happy for them but I'm one of these people is that all I've lost I want to lose more than that and I know eventually it will slow down and it'll be like three pounds a week but I want to lose a lot in the beginning but I'm just impatient, I can't help it. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, I'm not going to weigh myself anymore. And hopefully I will be back to normal by Sunday morning. And she'll come and she'll weigh me. And she'll tell me that I've lost like 10 or 12 pounds again. And I'll be like, booyah! Yee! As long as I lose 4 pounds, I get my free prize, which is cool. I don't know if I've told you, I can't remember what I... I, I tend to repeat myself a lot, but... My old consultant didn't do this, but my new one does, and I know other consultants do this. When you lose certain amounts of weight, like when you lose a stone, you get things. Like I've seen people get rosettes, I've seen people get certificates, some people get money off their products. My consultant offers something else. She has her daughter living with her, and her daughter is a beautician. So they offer beauty treatments when you lose a stone. So, she's going to bring me a list when I next see her so I can pick what I have. But she was telling me a few. She said they do body wraps, which I am kind of intrigued by, but I hate sweating. So, I don't think that would be a good one for me. They do uh, massages. So I was like, ooh, I'll have a free massage. Thanks very much. Manicures, pedicures, that sort of thing. Well, manicure, I do my own nails, so that doesn't interest me. But I thought that was a really nice incentive that she's getting her daughter involved as well. Oh, and she does HD brows, which... <sighs> I am really tempted to have HD brows, but I've seen a lot of pictures and they just look like scales brows and that's not me. I know that my brows are very defined, 
but they're not like ridiculously thick and I've managed to get them like this myself. This one's not as curved as this one but I might leave my brows because I know how I like them and I can do them like this myself. I'm going to see if she does eyelashes. I'd really like some eyelashes. But anyway, that's what I'm hoping to get next week. But we'll see. Um, I had a really nice message today that cheered me up while I was at work. I was happy at work anyway, but this just really made my day. I got a really long message from my mama bear, Alison. And, oh, it was lovely. It was lovely. There was some bits in it. Alison is amazing at writing things whether it be a comment or a message or whatever, she just makes things funny. The way that she types it, it's hilarious to me. So, and then she was telling me um, just about how well I'm doing and she made me feel so good and I was like, oh, I want to come and give you a hug and cry and oh, it was awesome. She's lovely. She's such a lovely person. Um, and it just made my day. So thank you, Alison. But yeah, that's kind of it for now so I think it's about half one is it half one what time is it oh it's ten to two bloody hell so I'm gonna go and do some housework while I've got this energy because I've got a feeling that around um 3 p.m no not 3 p.m I'll be at the school at three I've got a feeling that at around four, I'm going to get tired and want to fall asleep. So I'm going to do my housework now. I haven't got loads to do, to be honest. My house is pretty tidy. See? Tidy, tidy, tidy. Um, I'm going to do a bit of housework, bit hoovering, all that jazz. Hi! I'm doing a really, really quick post because um, I've got a bit of housework to do and then I've got to go to work. I've just took him to school. So I've like power walked all the way home and now I'm like, <laughs> so um, it is day 10. I'm in double digits. Ah! So yes, now day 10. Um, and I feel really good. I don't know why. Um, I did have um, a slight naughty moment last night. I'm supposed to be soul sourcing this week and um, I had my first two products and then I made my third product which was the spag bowl. I thought I'm going to try it again and I just I really don't like it. Um, I can't get on with it. I made it differently this time. I made it with the correct amount of water. I had to cook mine for about five minutes. You're supposed to cook it for three minutes but my microwave that's based on a 900 watt microwave my microwave is 700 watt so it's like a dinosaur but um i did it for five minutes and it came out a lot better this time but i just can't do the taste it's quite to me it's quite tomatoey and quite garlicky which I think a normal spag bowl is supposed to be like that, but when I used to make spag bowl, I made my own sauce because I don't like the jar sauces, and I'm not that big on really strong tomato-y kind of tastes, and personally to me, it was quite tomato -y and I just, I don't like it. I, if, it if the flavour was toned down a bit, I could eat it. It was just too much for me. <sighs> I'm so hot, I'm sorry. So I won't be having those again. Um, oh my God. But, um, so I had like three mouthfuls of it, didn't like it, unfortunately had to throw it away. And after that I thought, I, I waited about three hours and then I was like, no, I'm hungry. So I was really naughty and I ordered a chicken sheesh. Now, chicken sheesh on Weight Watchers used to be about five points. The actual chicken isn't too bad because in a large you get two skewers, which I think is about one and a half breasts. So, my allowance on plus was 170 grams of chicken. So, I think I had about 200 grams of chicken. So, I went over the chicken allowance a little bit for plus, even though I'm not on plus, I'm on soul sauce. Um, and it is in a little bit of sauce, but not much. And it's grilled. So, it's basically just grilled chicken breast. The naughty bit was the pitta because it comes in a pitta, and I did look, and a pitta, an average pitta is about 40 carbs, so, hello, I go my baby, she wants to get in the cupboard, she's obsessed with this cupboard, you're not going in there, 
Um, oh my god, I'm so hot. Kitty, you can't, you can't get in the cupboard, darling. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to lie, I did have a chicken sheesh last night, but I enjoyed it and I worked out afterwards. Now, I, I walk anyway, as you know, I walk a lot and yesterday I did two, I did 30 minutes of Just Dance, I did 10 minutes, I was aiming to do 20 before my food got here and I only managed 10 because then it turned up early. Um... And then afterwards, I did another 20 minutes. I do Just Sweat, which is where they do songs back to back. And I always pick the hard songs with a lot of movement. Gets your heart rate going. So I did 30 minutes of Just Dance, plus my walking, plus I did... Um, I'm subscribed to a channel on YouTube who do different exercise routines and stuff and they've got one where you can burn say um i think it's 100 calories in five minutes because it's real intense and and um it's things like mountain climbers and you bend over and you walk and you do two push-ups and then you you come back up things like that um high knees all that sort of thing so i did that then i did a load of sit-ups um, and I, I worked it all out, I put it all into my, um, my fitness pal app on my phone and it worked it out that over the day I had done, I'd burnt 510 calories just through exercise. So I kind of worked the sheesh off so it wasn't too bad and I have weighed myself this morning and I am weighing a pound heavier but she's on top of the cupboard. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I do weigh a pound heavier, but that's not necessarily from the food. It could be from the food, but it could also be from, um, not to be too graphic, but the fact that I need the toilet, but I'm not ready yet. That makes you heavier. Um, I'm still time of the month. There's lots of different reasons that I could be weighing heavier. It's more than likely the food, though, I'm not going to lie. So, yes, I cheated. But I didn't like majorly cheat. I didn't go and have the pizza that I've been craving for the last three days. My cravings today have gone, so that's good. And I feel really good. I feel really energetic. I felt energetic yesterday. That's why I did so much working out. So I'm going to do some housework now. Then I'm going to go to work. Then I'm going to pick Immy up. And then this after, well, like late afternoon, I'm going to do some more working out. Because um, I'm really enjoying just dance and I know some people think oh it's just a game it's fitness it's getting you moving if you do it as it shows you on screen and not just do the arms if you do the whole woo full pelt you do burn calories and on the just sweat it tells you how many calories you've burned which I don't I don't know if I believe that or not because it only counts when you use the arm you're holding the remote in so when you're doing stuff on this side it doesn't count those but obviously you're still burning energy that's why I put it into my fitness pal because it's a bit more accurate. But um, yeah, I I really enjoy just dance and things like that. So it's it's just like going to an aerobics class, but you can do it at home. It's the same as We Fit. That's technically a game, but it's still fitness. So I'm quite happy with that. But um, yeah, I'm going to do some more fitness later, and I'm going to hundred percent stick to plan for the next four days. My weigh-ins on Sunday morning, and today is Wednesday. So for the next four days, like I said, I'm going to 100% stick to plan. Today, and possibly tomorrow, I haven't decided, but today definitely I'm not going to have any bars because the bars are higher calories. Today I'm just going to have shakes. I've got a ready-made, I'm taking my ready-made shake for work today because it's my later shift. Um, and then I've already had one shake, that will be my second, and then I'll have my third later on. And I'm going to definitely smash my water. I'm actually going to try and drink a bit more water today than what I'm supposed to, but we'll see how that goes. So that's how I'm feeling today. Hope you're all doing well if you're doing Cambridge or any other weight plan. Hope you're all having a lovely day, and I will see you in the next bit. Hello. It is Friday, and it's only like 10 to 6. But the weather is so shit that my camera can't handle it. Look at look at the crap. Look. What a miserable month. Please excuse my messy garden. I'm still waiting for my um 
wonderful landlord to get back to me as to whether I can have ah, a new garden or not. And it's been two weeks and I've still not heard nothing and it's getting longer and longer and it's just doing my friggin' head in. So, thanks landlord. But yeah, um, I'm looking for my brush. There it is. I'm sorry if I make you all dizzy. So yeah, it's Friday. Day... <laughs> Day 12. Day 12 of Cambridge. Um, I've only had one product so far today, which was this morning, and it was a chocolate shake. And I've also had an omelette because, oof, I was hungry today when I got home from work and I fancied food. I didn't fancy another shake. So um, now I've left my mobile somewhere. There it is. Um, and my consultant did say if I want to have um, food, then I can have a plus meal. And part of a plus meal is two eggs. So I had an omelette and it was nice. And it, it just helped. I just needed it, you know. But I did feel really full for quite a while afterwards, which was a bit weird because I think because for the last like two or three days literally all I've been having is products having proper food my body couldn't cope with but um yeah I had my omelette it like I said it's now six o'clock so I'm gonna go and have um another shake I might have it hot I haven't decided yet and then this evening I'm going to the cinema I'm going to see Fast and Furious 7 with my friend from work and it'll be fun but um I want to take a bar with me to the cinema. I know it's really naughty to take your own food, but I can't eat any of the food there, obviously. So I thought I'll take a bar with me, and then if I get hungry, I can eat my bar at the cinema. And if I don't get hungry, I'll just eat it when I get home. Or I'll have a shake or something when I get home. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take one with me for liters, And I'll get my water and have that with me as well. Um... It's been an okay day. I'm quite cold at the moment. I know I'm wearing sleeve, uh, no sleeves, but I think the weather doesn't help. Can you see how dark it is? My camera can't cope. I'm going to have to sort of do that. Um, I'm feeling alright. I have stayed on plan. I've stayed on track, apart from like the omelette today, but I was still semi-plan. Um, I had a really bad day Wednesday. Wednesday I was super hungry I think I had my products too early I had my normal one my first product I normally have around half seven eight during the week because I have work and then I had my second product at work at about one o'clock and then it got to about five and I was really hungry so I had my third product and then in the evening it got to about 8 30 I think and I was so hungry I felt really poorly I felt I just felt tired and I was super super hungry it hurt that's how hungry I was so uh, I left it for about another hour and then I had a fourth product I had a bar because um, all I'd had that day was shakes no I had two shakes and a soup sorry and the soups are less calories than the shakes so I was really hungry and I thought I've got to eat something rather than eat food I had a bar so I was a little bit naughty but you, if you are super hungry, you can have a fourth product. So that's what I did. Yesterday was fine. Yesterday I just had my three products and my water. Today I'm just planning on having my three products and my omelette. So, and I even text my consultant. And I was like, look, I feel so bad. I've had an omelette. And she was like, don't worry about it. She said, it was a good food choice to make. Um, you're doing really well. Really inspirational stuff, you know, and that helped. But I still feel a bit guilty. I have been doing a lot of working out this week, though, which helps. Um... And I've just got the new Just Dance 2015, which isn't actually that new, but it's new to me. And there's a few songs on there that I love, and they're very energetic with lots of jumping and stuff, so that helps. But I haven't, I only got the game yesterday, so I haven't fully explored what it can do yet. So I would assume there's like a Just Sweat section, but there is an option to play against people around the world. And that kind of spurs me on, because I want to win, so it makes me work harder so that I win. Um... Apart from that, I haven't really got anything to say. I've got my weigh-in on Sunday. Tomorrow is going to be strange because I'm not doing anything. 
I'm not going out, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm getting Immy back at some point, um, but that's about it. So it's like, what am I going to do all day? And I'm just a bit worried that tomorrow night, because obviously last week was my first Saturday on it and I went out. This week I'm not going out and I'm just thinking, I'm going to be sitting in on a Saturday night, I'm going to want takeaway, I'm going to want chocolate, I'm going to want naughty stuff. And I'm not going to, but it's going to be hard and it's going to be weird. So I'm going to have to find something to preoccupy myself with tomorrow night. I might play Tomb Raider tomorrow night because that preoccupies me for a good couple of hours. Um, and then like I said, Sunday morning is my weigh-in. So that'll be good. And then Sunday... I'm going to Hunt Stanton. If the weather's going to be like this, it's going to be shit. But um, my mum and my nan and my great aunt are all going on holiday together for the week. So my dad and me are taking my mum. And Immy's going to come with us and we're just going to go spend the day there with my family. And they're all going to have a roast dinner and I'm not, which sucks. I'm not a big roast dinner person, but my mum and my nan make amazing roast dinners. So I am a little bit gutted that I can't have one. But it'll be worth it in the end. It's only, somebody actually said this to me on Instagram the other day when I said that I was craving pizza so bad. And they actually said, um, it's only for a few months. It's not like you've given pizza up for life. You've just done this. You're doing it for a few months. And then you'll be at a better place. And you'll be able to have that pizza if you still want it. And I thought, well, yeah, that is true. I know it's hard at the moment and temptation is really easy to give into, but I could just wait and have pizza in a few months. It's not forever. Some people are very unlucky and they have dietary requirements like they're lactose intolerant, wheat intolerant, um, diabetic, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm very lucky that I do have the ability to eat what I want and at the moment I'm just choosing not to. So I shouldn't really complain that much. But yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go make my shake now because I'm really hungry. I had a vanilla mousse last night. That was strange. It was quite nice, but it was quite... I put it in the freezer this time. Normally I put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. This time I put it in the freezer and it was a little bit thicker, which was nice. But it was also, because it was vanilla, I don't know. I'm going to try it with the chocolate. It reminded me a bit of rice pudding and I don't like rice pudding, so I think I'll do it with chocolate next time. But, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> weighing on Sunday, I'm so scared and I'm getting measured and I'm really scared <laughs> really scared I want a really good loss if she comes and says you've lost two pound I'll be happy that I've lost but I'll be really pissed off because I've hardly fucking eaten all week so if I don't eat all week and only lose two pound I'm going to be really really stupidly annoyed so hopefully she'll tell me that I've lost like seven or eight pound or more, we'll see uh, help me So please excuse the huge forehead. <laughs> I'm having real fringe problems at the moment, so I just keep clipping it up and then you see all of this. But anyway, Saturday, it's day 13. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I'm having major anxiety about tomorrow because tomorrow is weighing down. I hate weighing day. I've actually put an Instagram post and a blog post and I still hate weighing day. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. I know I've lost weight because my some of my clothes are a bit looser. And I even had my mum and my mum doesn't normally comment, but even my mum was like, Yeah, I can tell you've lost weight because your chest looks smaller. Thanks, mum. <laughs> but um I just, I hate weighing. I think because this diet is so hard, I'm not saying other diets aren't hard because so I know that some are, but there's some diets like Weight Watchers and Slimming World where you can still eat and you can pretty much eat what you want just within reason, whereas with Cambridge you can't, especially if you're on step one. Step one on Cambridge is bloody hard and... Hello? Hello? Okay, where are you then? All right. Okay then. All right, bye. Oops, I thought I'd stop recording. Obviously not. 
So yeah, um, this diet is bloody hard, especially on step one, and it it's just hard, really, really hard. And because of how difficult it is and the work that you put in, if you get to your weigh-in, well, this is just me. I know some women are amazed at the, and are so happy, but if I get to my weigh-in and I've only lost like a pound, I'll be like, awesome, at least I've lost weight, but I'll be like, is that it? I've tortured myself for the last seven days to lose a freaking pound, you know? I know it can't always be good losses. It can't always be like nine, ten pound. I, I do understand that, but because it's still so new, I'm really hoping for a good loss, but I'm just like, ugh. I'm too impatient. I want the results that people have got after four months now. And it's not going to happen. It's, I'm not just going to wake up tomorrow and be like a size 14. It's not going to happen. But I'm just like, Ehh. I hate it. Hopefully tomorrow, when I do the last part of this video, it will be a very happy part with a good weigh in. But we'll see. Trouble is, I'm a serial weigher and I, I need to throw my scales away. I really do. Because if I weigh... My kitchen's really small. If I weigh in one part of my kitchen, I weigh more than if I weigh in the other part of my kitchen. And it's just like, for fuck's sake. If I weigh myself where she does, I have had a good loss. I've had about six pounds. But my scales are really naff. So I'm like, is that a true weight? I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow. But I'm just like, Ugh, I hate it. Morning. I look beautiful this morning because... I haven't done my hair or makeup yet. Um, it's 7.03. I had my way in at 6.30 this morning because I was awake and my consultant was awake so she came over and weighed me. Um, it's Sunday by the way. Um, so I lost five pounds this week, which I'm happy with, but I'm also pissed off at myself because I didn't completely focus this week. So I know if I'd have focused, I'd have had a better loss. But, you live and you learn, don't you? So, I'm gonna really, really focus this week. Um, and, see what I can do. I think I might move my way in to a Monday morning. Um, so that I can do it before work. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move it to Monday next week. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I can. I am gonna cheat today, but I'd already pre-arranged my cheat. I'm going to Hunt Stand, I think I've told you already in the video, I'm going to Hunt Stand to see family. So I'm gonna have, um, they're all having roast dinner, I'm gonna have a chicken breast. Um. I'm not sure what I'm having with it. I think I'm just having a bit of veg. So technically it's not cheating because it's a sole source plus meal, but it is cheating with regards to I'm just doing sole source, which is just the products. But that's why I'm gonna move my way into the Monday because then that gives me an extra day. It gives me the Sunday as well to kind of compensate it. But um yeah, it's not been a good week and I have been really unfocused and I have had a couple of things I shouldn't have had. I mean, I've had two omelettes this week, which again, I'm allowed on plus, but I'm not on plus, I'm on soul sauce. So, I've had that. I've not been drinking enough water. I've had about five diet drinks this week, which you're not allowed diet drinks at all on soul sauce. But the water just got too much for me. So, I have had about five diet drinks and it, it reflects, it shows. And I had that one night where I had my chicken sheesh. So it just goes to show that it does affect your weight. So I am still really happy. I mean, five pounds is a good loss. It's better than two or three. So I, I am happy. Um, and I also had my measurements done. I can't give you my arm and my leg measurements because I measured lower. I did my original set of measurements and I measured lower on my body than what you're supposed to. So I've now got an accurate reading of what they are. But... I know I've lost about an inch from both because I measured myself this morning before she did and I measured in the place where I did before and I've lost about an inch from both but she measured me and her measurements say that from my hips and my waist I've lost three and a half inches which is awesome and I've lost an inch from my bust so it's not too bad. Um, 
but yeah, I just, maybe I shouldn't have been exercising either, you're not supposed to exercise the first two weeks of Cambridge. I did also find out about my legs, I've always, I always struggle to get weight off of my legs, and she said my legs are actually quite toned, and she said it's because of the amount of walking I do, so she said, um, as my weight loss journey progresses, my top half will slim more than my bottom half, but my bottom half will slim, it's just going to take a bit longer because of the amount of walking I do, so that's a bit annoying, um, but I, I have to walk, I have no other way of getting me to school, I have no other way of getting to work, so I have to walk everywhere, and I thought walking was good for you, and it is, but it, it's kind of toning my legs up rather than slimming them, so that's a bit annoying, but... Um, it's going to be awkward if I lose it off my waist and I need to buy jeans that I can't fit over my thighs. That's going to be weird. But anyway, I'm going to smash it this week. She also told me that, because um, I didn't think I was allowed any form of flavoured water, but she said I can't. Volvic do flavoured waters and she said they do sugar free ones. I think there's a strawberry one and a lemon one. She said buy the ones with the blue caps because they're completely sugar free. Any others are full of sugars and stuff so don't touch them. But I can have these. That will be quite nice because I can stomach so much water. I mean, I thought on Cambridge it was supposed to be two litres of water a day. She's told me today it's three, so it's like, fuck, that was even worse. So I've been having one third pretty much, or one, I've been having about half the water intake that I'm supposed to have, so that's a bit annoying. <laughs> um, she kind of broke it down for me as well. She said, try and do one litre between 8 and 12, one litre between 12 and 4, and one litre between 4 and 8. So I thought that was quite good. And now that I can have my flavoured water, I can kind of break up the day. I don't want to rely on those, but it'll be nice to have a couple of those a day rather than all normal water. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I am happy. I'm a, I'm a bit pissed off. I mean, I've lost... One stone, one pound in two weeks. So that is good. That is good that I've lost one stone, one pound in two weeks. I'm just a bit annoyed because I had such a good loss this week. I was hoping for another really good loss. But never mind. It's just one of them things, isn't it? But um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus more this week. Like I said, I'm having an off day today. Um, but then from tomorrow, I'm gonna be fully back on it. So. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be stupid tonight and have takeaway and whatever, because I'm not going to. I'm just going to have my dinner today. And then that's it. So, I don't know if you can hear the cat. The cat's there on something she wants to try and eat. So, but anyway, that's my video. Um, this is my, I've got my photo of the top. I haven't done a video of me wearing the top and I can't do one at the moment because Amy's in bed. But um, I will do a video of me wearing the pony top next week. You can't see much of a difference. I can see a difference, but it's not like hugely visible, but you can see a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all next week. Bye guys.